I think uh, Yes People is a great tribute to, you explore with your film uh, the, the daily life, la quotidianité of uh, daily life. And I think you did a great job. Uh, explain to us uh, why did you decide to turn simple things of life into the important aspects of the movie? You know, doing dishes, cleaning the snow, uh, smoking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um, I find it to be kind of the biggest battle of our lives. And it's such a mundane and meaningless thing, you know, every day. It's almost like the zoomed in square into that great painting, you know. When you look into the zoomed square, it's just meaningless and sort of abstract and, and dull. And, you, you know, there doesn't seem to be any meaning. But if you can see the big picture, it's, it's really beautiful. And so when I was writing the film, I was, you know, I had terrifying sort of thoughts about living my life in a loop and not growing. And, you know, I, I mean, I work in animation and animation is, a, despite its end product, is, is an incredibly tedious and, you know, there's nothing exciting about it. But if you, 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 you sort of have to see the big picture to be motivated. So there were some thoughts on that, but I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, that was really the core for me. The, 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 the yes and the, the, the yeses uh, was, was a, for me, it was more like a, the butter on top, it was more yeah. the, the per predicament they were in. You know, they could only say one word and, and they were kind I of understand. stuck in a loop. Sorry, I understand that daily, I mean, working on animation, it's very, it's very intense and it could be boring, but uh, at the same time, I think that with animation, there are no limits. So you can create whatever goes through your mind. You don't have any, reality is not there. So it's really liberating, I guess. Could you explain the sense of liberation? I feel liberated when I watch the film like that. So I'm sure you do when you created it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people, when they think about doing an animation, they think, oh, we should do something that you can't do in, in live action. And I, I sort of disagree there. And I think there's an angle that hasn't been explored with sort of, yeah, with, with sort of dull things. And because you have, you, have a, you have a different lens with animation, you have complete control of the image and all these sort of, yeah, they're, you know, the characters are a, a, a bit more like spirits, at least for myself. And uh, you just kind of, there's a, there's a very slight different angle when you, when you watch those, uh, watch animation. And I, I really feel like animation is, you know, kind of growing up and uh, the subject matter shouldn't be limited to Oh, it has to be something that live action can't do. Uh, yeah. Of course, of course. But uh, let me ask you: Do those characters exist in real life? Did you know real people that inspire you, or many people are like we're all like that? Maybe no. Yes, absolutely. Um, there's a there's a few characters there that are based on a person or a composite of persons that I know. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great. And a, they all have a great presence. They're, I love the lady with the big hair. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, and the, the I try to I'm, I I try I try to avoid arbitrary design decisions, and in that case, it was kind of the idea that she had grown a cloud, a dark cloud and <laughs> over her head. And she was kind of stuck in that. You know, it was very, that. it was very funny. You know, um, uh, we're doing this interview for two reasons. Well, uh, no, for two platforms. One is Screen Slam, which is a, a worldwide platform. And also for Movistar Plus, which is a, it's a platform, an entertainment platform. And they bought the rights for your short which is great. So this interview will be promoting the, your short for the platform. So could you tell us in few words so we can use what you're saying 
to illustrate what is the film about and we will use your voice with clips and go back and forth like that. We will do a good editing. So tell us what is the film about, if you don't mind, with the film title. <laughs> with the film title. Yeah, it's, it's, the film is called Yes People and it's a film about um, being stuck in a loop and, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a mosaic story about people, uh, not just one person, um, a mixture of people who um, are all a different color in their own. And um, in, at the center of the story is really, I guess, a portrait of routines and habits or, or, um, or a closer look. Um, I, I, had a, I had a math teacher. He was fantastic. He was actually a theologian. And his greatest strength uh, in teaching, he, he raised my, my grade up 4.5 um, units uh, in a semester. But he, he would take one uh, math problem and he would solve it in front of us uh, you know, in seven, eight different ways. And when you do that, you completely understand. You, you have a much better, you know, it's, it's the equivalent of, you know, rotating a, an unknown object, but just um, in a more uh, uh, conceptual sense, I guess. And that could be done too. To uh, uh, a scene from reality could be could have seven interpretations. Maybe yeah. you apply that to uh, what a cool teacher. Yeah. <laughs> did yeah. you did he see your film? No, he no. died actually. Uh, uh -huh. maybe a de decade ago i was um, i used to be in yeah i used to be in business school and he was my math teacher and he came in uh in half in halfway into the year and he absolutely he, he sky my grades just skyrocketed and the entire class actually <laughs> that's super cool uh, tell me a little uh are you fascinated with language too yeah Absolutely. What? I love languages. I used to live in Ireland and England, and uh, I love seeing the connections between them and how words evolve. And then in this case for the film was the sort of fascina fascination for the primal language that we probably had uh, before, you know, we had words, our ancestors probably, you know, you know, that sort of language you can children pick up innately, you know, there's no there's no uh, dictionary for this language. And, and interestingly enough, there's some people who don't, they, they have a social blind spot and they don't read those uh, tones and they do really badly socially. So I don't know if there's already uh, a, a, a thesis about this, but uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say my film is, is, is a thorough look into this matter, but it's really fascinating. And it was, you know, when making a film for so many years, you need, you know, oil to stoke the fire, you know, to make a film. It takes, it took me like eight years, probably in total, on and off, start and stop, very frustrating. And you have to find something you're obsessed about or interested in. And that, that helps you finish the film. But now, now you got all these rewards. I mean, the film has great reviews, great credit. People love it. Now you, you're an Oscar nominee, which is great, I think, for any filmmaker. I would love to be an Oscar nominee just for whatever, you know. So, so how does it feel? Because the first time I asked you, the audio was not good. Is it a good uh, thing? Is it, you think it will change your career? Or I'm sure it's positive, no? Uh, it feels great. I can't <laughs> deny that. Um, I hope it will. I was, uh, I've been an, a character animator for over a decade and I was, uh, I have been feeling like it's time to move on to the storytelling uh, department, whether it's writing or directing. So yeah, I hope it brings more opportunities in that department. That's really great. Listen, really nice meeting you. I mean, I read all these reviews, they're all great. You must, you have to be, I love the characters and the shapes, the body shapes, the colors. It was so much fun. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's very, it's very, it's great because I, 
somebody very wise told me you should make a film or art piece from the inside out because that way if it fails you know you did it on your own terms and you know you could be disappointed that it failed but it was what you wanted to do but if you do a film from the outside in and it fails it hurts even worse so of course i'm i'm very uh, i'm very happy about that to have yeah and, and you're not hurting the country you did Sorry? it from inside out you did it from inside out and uh, you're yeah. not hurting because the everybody likes it so <laughs> yeah yeah that's a bonus right? no <laughs> yeah